outer joins, left, right, full. Here we are going to study the outer join. Let's see the definition for outer join and its types. In an outer join operation, all records from the source table are included in the result, even though they didn't satisfy the join condition. Outer join is classified into three types. They are left outer join, right outer join, and full outer join. Before we get to know the different types, we will see the syntax. Select column names from both tables from table name 1, left, right, full, outer join, table name 2, on, condition. In this syntax, column names specify the names of the columns to be selected. Here we can specify any type of outer join. Now we will discuss the left outer join. The left outer join returns the unmatched rows from the left table with matched rows from the right table, i.e. it selects all the matched rows from table 2 and the unmatched rows from table 1. If we join these tables in a left outer join fashion, the result always contains all records from the left table A, even if the join condition does not find any matching records in the right table B. This means that if the on clause matches zero records in B, the join will still show a row in the result, but with null in each column from B. Now let's see the right outer join. It is also like the left outer join, but the main difference is that it returns the unmatched rows from the table plus matched rows from the left table. For this, we have to specify the outer join operator in the right table. If we join the tables in this manner, every record from the right table, B, will appear in the joined table at least once. If no matching row from the left table, A, exists, null will appear in columns from A, for those records that have no match in A. And finally, we will see the full outer join. It is a combination of the left and right outer join. In this type, the join operation combines the results of both left and right outer joins. The joined table will contain all the records from both tables and fill the value null for missing matches on either side. I will now show you the method for performing each type of outer join. Consider the tables Employee and Department. If we join these two tables according to the equality condition on the department number column, it shows only three rows, because there is no match for department name in the fourth row. In this situation, we can use the outer join. Let's see the statement for a left outer join. Select asterisk from employee left outer join department on employee department number equals department department number. Now execute the statement. In this statement we have used the keyword left outer join between the tables employee and department. This statement returns all the rows from the left table and matched rows from the right table. Now we will see the statement for a right outer join. Select asterisk from employee right outer join department on employee department number equals department department number. Let's execute it. This statement displays the result table with all rows from the department table and only matched rows from the employee table. Here the unmatched rows are selected from the right side table, so this is called a right outer join. Now let's see the statement for a full outer join. Select asterisk from employee full outer join department on employee department number equals department department ID.